You're listening to Cross Rhythms Plymouth 96.3 FM and I've got the pleasure today of being joined uh, on the line by Amy Pollan from a charity called Look Good, Feel Better. Amy, great to have you uh, here to talk a bit about your work today. Thank you for, for giving us the time. Now, I'll be totally honest with you, Amy, Look Good, Feel Better isn't a charity I'd actually ever heard of um, before. So would you mind for, for any listeners who are in a similar position um, telling us a bit about the charity and what it is you guys do? Yes, absolutely. Thanks, uh, Dave, for having me on. It's really nice to be here and kind of uh, spread the word about look good, feel better. So we were uh, we're, we're, a, we're a charity and we were established um, 30 years ago in 1994. So we're actually coming up to our 30th birthday this year. Um, so we deliver cancer support services in local communities across the UK. Um, and that's through a series of face-to-face -face workshops um, online as well. Um, our main one is our skincare and makeup workshop, um, which is 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 very popular. Um, we our aim really is to help people face to face, um, you know, build up their their confidence again um, after the diagnosis or treatment of of cancer, um, and, and kind of I suppose we gain some sense of of normality and and you know. We want them to to get their identity back as well. So we work with um, uh, volunteers within the beauty industry um, and class really as the beauty industry's charity. And yeah. so these these amazing volunteers um, will will come into a workshop and they will they they will deliver um, skincare and uh, makeup tutorial, but also you know they're there to support and kind of. I suppose make the workshop feel a little bit like a like a community of people who are going through the same thing, um, mm. understand each other, and um, just take away. I think for those couple of hours, um, the the emphasis on on the cancer diagnosis and make it about them, the individual. Um, so yes, we are we we have bags that are donated by the beauty industry within those beauty bags we get a um we get well we've got we've got loads of amazing products that are put into there and um, that skincare products and makeup and that's what the volunteers use um yeah. to demonstrate you know how to look after your skin or how to yeah. apply makeup so yeah it's uh that's amazing. It's a, it is it's, it is amazing and it's amazing to see all the people that are walking out of those workshops at the end of it um it's it's lovely i've observed a few workshops and it's really really lovely to see that's so awesome and like you say there's there's kind of a lot to it in the sense of why you exist and why you do what you do and mm -hmm. i think a big reason as you've emphasized there must be that whole i suppose bringing back dignity bringing back the sense of humanity to those people who as you say, are on a cancer journey where a lot of their interactions um, at that stage and, and for like quite a while is to do with all the medical side, is to do with the cancer yeah. and it becomes can become all consuming. So to have that uh, aspect of something that's like more normal again, like looking after your skin, putting makeup yeah. on, um, you know, the clues in the name look good, feel better. Yeah. It has things that they impact. may have done beforehand. So, mm. you know, things that probably would, would be... Um, neglected and not seen as as a priority and sometimes I do feel that kind of the emotional well-being of um, of people going through cancer or going through treatment can be can be overlooked and you know a most part of emotional well-being is looking after yourself and taking time for yourself and you know finding those things that make you feel good yeah. Um so yeah it, it's it's really important and like you said sometimes you know there's some great cancer support groups out there, no doubt whatsoever. Um, but the emphasis is very much on kind of talking about their treatment, how yes. they feel about that treatment. Whereas this is slightly different in that it allows um, our beneficiaries to come in and to and and to just be. And I don't I don't necessarily like using this word, but just be normal for those couple of yeah. hours no, um, and yeah. and focus on and, and focus on things that perhaps you know they used to enjoy that they don't get time to do now so mm. um yeah it's it's you know everyone that goes into those workshops volunteers our you know my colleagues myself we're all really passionate about it um purely just from what from what we see and what we observe and how those 
um, people, our beneficiaries come out looking and feeling at the end of end of those workshops. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And as you say, like for for various reasons, that kind of emotional well-being, mm. the kind of mental health aspects, can be overlooked. You know, sometimes understandably because you've got to deal with the cancer first of all. However. Yeah actually the outcomes can be better as well because someone starts to get more motivation to be involved in the whole thing to feel human again to feel good again to have a bit of hope that actually yeah my life hasn't completely gone here it's you know i'm still exactly. can enjoy some of those things and and feel better through it well we're going to stop for some music and then we're going to pick up the conversation um with amy in terms of an event that's coming up very very soon here in plymouth so if you're listening to this and thinking man that sounds great that sounds like something i'd love to be involved in and to help uh, there's a volunteer open day coming up very soon so we're going to talk more with amy about that after this you're listening to cross rhythms plymouth 96.3 fm i'm joined on the line by amy pollen from uh, look good feel better a uh, cancer charity that uh, helps people uh, to kind of regain a lot of their their dignity their humanity as you put it amy in that last section to feel normal again through kind of skincare uh, through uh, beauty uh, products and, and that kind of engaging with that aspect of of the person while they're going through cancer um, and it's something that like many charities you do with the help of volunteers so uh, for those people listening and thinking man that sounds really worthwhile something i can put uh, a skill set into firstly i suppose who are you looking for for volunteers is it just anyone or specifically trained people or, or what sort of people are you looking for yeah so um yeah it, it would it would be for specifically well professionals within the beauty industry um and and skincare industry so we do look for a formal qualification which you know we do recognize does kind of uh narrow that down and it and it is quite niche um we we also hope that kind of the volunteers that come in have have a, a year at least experience um obviously our workshops are aimed at people who are going through the treatment of of cancer um so there are some sensitivities around around that and we want to make sure that our volunteers come into those workshops as well feeling confident um in order to be able to to deliver those workshops so yeah we do we do ask for for a um a for a qualification in either skincare and makeup and it, and roughly around a year's experience um our volunteers are absolutely amazing um and we genuinely couldn't do these workshops without them so you know we are very very grateful for the support that that we get from from our current volunteers um however with the charity growing um and our workshops uh i would say our our um or something that people are taking more of an interest in um yeah. you know and, and wanting to attend so therefore you know we are we are looking uh to to get more volunteers in um and with the beauty industry it's always constantly changing so it's always really nice to have new faces fresh ideas um and you mm. know that's that's what we can get from from the volunteers that you know approach us so yes we are we're looking um uh, within the Plymouth area for some um, volunteers that can hopefully uh, commit to running a minimum of three workshops a year. Um, yep. So the workshops are usually around two hours. Um, we hope to do, uh, we, we hope to, to run these skincare and makeup workshops once a month, obviously yep. depending on um, on how much interest we get. You know, we can then look at perhaps maybe putting on two a month, but you know, at the moment it'd be be once a month um, for a couple of hours to deliver um, to to, to, to de deliver their uh, expertise. I think in those areas. Yeah, um, yeah. And I suppose that's a huge aspect, you know, as you say, on the one hand, you've got the fact that it uh, narrows it down as to who you're looking for. But on the other hand, it means that those uh, people engaging with your services, those cancer patients engaging with the services get absolute best quality. They get like really trained professionals in these areas coming exactly. to deliver these things. So it's a really, really great uh, quality. So tell us specifically then coming up Monday the 19th, uh, you've got a volunteer open morning. Um, so tell us a bit about that event. What's it going to look like? Like yeah. Know. So, yeah. So we've got the open morning at Derriford Hospital um, at the Macmillan at the Mustard Tree, um, Macmillan Cancer Support Centre. 
um, in Plymouth and that's 10 till 12.30 p.m. It's an open morning, so it's really uh, informal, casual. You know, we'd love to see as many faces, not just from um, potential volunteers, but volunteers that have um, that have been with Look Good uh, Feel Better previously and are still with us. Um, as I said, it's very informal. It would be more kind of, you know, kind of either more information on what our workshops deliver and um, they can have a chat with myself because I will be there obviously we'll have refreshments available um, so we just want to keep it really informal and friendly um, and just let you know not just volunteers as I've said but also maybe people from cancer care support groups if they wanted to pop in um, and speak to us you know about how how can their beneficiaries or how can the the people that they speak to within support groups how can they access our workshops so we will be able to give them all of that information um, and then hopefully they they'll be able to book on uh, through our website or you know just being given our just being given general information uh, through our uh, through our leaflets um, so that's what it is very very informal um, it's a getting to know us morning with tea, coffee, biscuits, cakes, um, and yeah, just just a, a nice a nice chat, I suppose, um, about what it is that we do and what we aim to do in the future. Yeah, that's so good. So again, specifically, if you're listening to this, the, the, the biggest group of people that are going to be able to give the most help that look good, feel better are looking for uh, are those of you who are trained in the beauty industry, trained in skincare and and makeup have had at least a year experience if you're listening to this and either that's you or that's someone you know in your family then uh, please do pass this information out the event again yeah, open morning is 19th of february monday the 19th of february 10 a.m till 12 30 at the mustard tree mcmillan cancer support center that's at dereford hospital uh, itself so uh, do get down to that and if you can't get to that for any reason uh, what's the best places to find out more i imagine search online for look good feel better or what's the best places yeah to... absolutely if you can't if you can't make it down um down to the event on on that morning um just pop onto our website and that will give you all the information about what workshops we're running um, you know we do actually run a few other workshops that are online at the moment so that's hand care and nail we also do a styling for confidence as well um so it's not just skincare and makeup um we do do other um we do other workshops that are available so yeah please feel free to to get onto our website and and see what it is that we can do to help amazing thank you so much for your time amy no thank you thanks <laughs>